Ichthyosis is a genetic skin condition that can affect babies from the time of birth. It often starts as a skin being completely red or covered in a thin membrane. And over the course of a baby's first year, this can change and progress all the way through adolescence and into adulthood. In some children, it can be red scaly skin all over the body. It can mean that there is extensive scale that's brown or very different from normal skin. We are trying to understand certain rare types of ichthyosis where there is a huge amount of unmet medical need. We do not understand why the skin is inflamed and red all the time and we are often trying to use treatments or approaches learned from other conditions which are being applied in a try and see manner. As a teenager growing up, external features on the skin are a big part of what can sometimes impact on confidence and self-esteem simply because of how different people who have conditions like ichthyosis can look and health problems that might come with having ichthyosis. Young people living with ichthyosis have to go through daily treatment applications of creams and use different ointments at different times of the day and this can compete with normal life as a teenager. These are really ways to control some of the symptoms. I would like to see a scenario where the sort of research that the Medical Research Foundation is supporting is able to let us match a existing treatment that's been used in another form of inflammatory skin disease in ichthyosis such that teenagers are able to wake up in the morning and, and not think, right, how do I get you know to school today on time and put all these treatments on? We would love to come up with approaches that would start to make their skin look less different and make them feel like they are everyone else. The advance that we hope to take forward in this project is only possible through patients contributing samples to the work such that we can study changes in the skin that would allow us to make selections of treatment that would not be possible just by working on cells alone in the lab. By bringing together rare patient samples with new technologies, we are able to understand why ichthyosis plays out the way it does in the skin, and we would then be able to come back potentially with targeted treatments that could improve the quality of their lives.